Well, we're back in Curvy Canyon, where we left off at the end of the last episode, intently watching these two trains pass one another. And somehow, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed uh, a problem. Uh, a big problem for Gravesend. Hmm. This is a freaking disaster, so... Oh my god, first thing I've got to do is hit pause. It's a disaster because, uh, two reasons, I said I didn't need an alternate platform on this line because, well, they were so spread out it would never uh, clog up. <coughs> Eat your words, Stephen. Uh, and the other problem is, uh, this is... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no production. It's gone, which means uh, this is going to, and yeah, not good, mm, not good. Uh, fix this, come on, get into it. What are you going to do? Uh, right, well, do what I should have done, right, and um, add the extra platform. That was suggested, thank you. You were right, I was wrong. Nothing unusual in that idea. Um... And what I'm going to do is uh, this one, this line, yep, manage the line, needs to be on alternate platforms, one and two, yep, okay, that'll fix the problem, uh, no, oh, why, because this is a traffic jam that's never going to unclog, <laughs> well that's a point, so, you're moving that because you see the gap there because of the intersection where that was well that just slows traffic down so it's not happening right so I'll just move it over here out of the way somewhere shimmy it around a wee bit good um, how are you gonna unclog that well I think we might have Uh-huh, yeah, and what that means is these guys can come in and come back out that way. Is that what happened? No, it isn't. That's no good, because if they get stuck like they are here, they will be stuck up the middle here, sitting parking, and these guys and... No, these guys here, these fellas, they need that middle lane to get back out. So that won't work. Okay. Right, so you need to give the yellow-orangey line another lie road in. Yep. So... Just, just whiz that over there out of the way for a tick. Okay. Uh, another road in. We'll give them that little bit, shall we? Right. Are they using it? Uh, no. Well, that's because you need to add a waypoint there. Right. Uh, manage line. After Vettleton and before Gravesend come back through there. Ah. Nice. Okay. Alternate entry, exit. Alternate platforms. If there's any stuff up, like they ran out of um, tools, see, none, <clears throat> uh, they will then queue up down on this road here, and that I don't care about. Really? Well, okay, you want to care about it? Let's, um, two-lane street? No, nah, we'll give them a four-lane street. And, oh, construction not possible. Why is that? Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to make it possible. Yep, all right, there, yep. And that will do. Cool. And we'll do all of that. All over again, and there to there, yep, and your little waypoint, back there, and now what will happen is 
because it's got a truck lane, they'll wait on the truck lane and those guys can, everyone else rather, can just zoom straight past. Well look, while you're there, really? Yeah, why not? Let's, um, let's waste some money <laughs> and make this road wider all the way through town just because we can. Uh, right All right. Now, um, did you fix that? Do you need? No, you don't. Look, it's fine. It's going back through that. Okay. Uh, now, before I hit go, there will be some blockage. So, I'm going to get rid of a couple of these orangey ones so that I don't have three any blockage once I hit the uh, can't lose you uh, you yep okay that'll do let's go and do it at triple speed so that we got um, oh see these guys are chucking a yui and then going down there which is nice of them Oh, hang on. What what are you doing? You you're doing funny things. I don't want you. Don't want you. Were you the food? You're the food. Okay. Everybody else is. See, they, that's that's quite clever the way they're doing that, Yui. Right. These guys are taking a long time, aren't they? See the back... Oh, look, it's only because of the backlog. Don't panic about it. No, it's just there's a little backlog there, and once that clears and things get back into normal... Uh, normal. Yeah, normal. Uh, things will be... Pine. I really don't like. Look, one more down, and we'll be we'll be laughing. Okay, things will things will be back to normal, Stephen. Well, you know, that'll learn me, won't it? I'll maybe I should listen to the my commenters. <laughs> Yeah, you don't know everything, Stephanie. Uh, never mind. I do know that that looks a bit gross and needs to be smoothed. Waste a little bit more money. Okay, did we avert the problem? Have we? Yeah, try that button. Oh my God, look. Uh, it'll go back up. Look, it's fine. There's enough here in storage to get this rate back up to the yeah look we've lost we've lost it over at the stone quarry it was 200 uh, and now it's uh, come on that's sad isn't it but anyway we've got enough here for the next train so here and it's coming down now so he'll take 70 of these, so there'll still be 50, 60 left over. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. It, it didn't have that much of an impact. So, what's next? While our Conmat plant recovers, uh, what's on the agenda for today's episode? Well, I would like to connect the Peyton Freight Yard to Framlingham and get some conmat happening all the way up here so hmm best way to do that well, the best way to do that is to start by putting yep that'll do start by putting a road there hmm and then oh hello thank you ai <laughs> And then I can put a 160 metre. Yeah, that'll do for starters. But I'm going to be clever here. 
I want to try and get this in as part of this railway station. Now, in case you didn't know it, you can expand these. You can go that way or that way from your starting position. So let's put our starting position here. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, configure this, right, and delete all of that, except for the track. Right, now what? Well, add track up and see how it goes. Okie dokie, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Okay, and add track this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just to confuse you. <laughs> yeah, now add platforms. Right, uh, right there. Is that going to give you room to add a cargo building? It does, look, you've got the dots. Oh, nice. Okay, back to platforms. Okay, platforms. One, two, three. Better kill those, hey? And you can add more platforms. So we've got 160 meters. Is that enough? Uh, it will probably do for now. Now, that slots in nicely there beautiful now how much of the town does that cover uh, uh, not enough by the looks of it well no it only covers a small portion of the con mat and a small portion of the the tools so let's go back to configuring you and put another building on this end of the um, that road that you put in there is um, now in the way, Stephen. Well, that's easy. Fixed. Uh, ooh, no, I don't want to kill all of that. Um, if I put just a little street there, yep, and then I can kill that bit. Oh, that's clever. Yep, back to configure. Put your large main building in there and then put a road across there okay uh, like so um, hmm. it's not exactly level but that's fine and curve you down into that does that improve your coverage it does look Okay, uh, where's our building tab? Okay, M most, but not all, of the con mat is covered. That middle section is annoyingly n absent. Well, um, take another road through. Voila, it's all covered. That was clever. Well, not all, look. Well, we can't all be perfect. <laughs> Now, are you close enough to this yet? Um, well, how do I find that out? Just bung a thing here. Yep. Connect it with a road. Connect it with a road. We'll just use a country road out here, won't we? Okay, and does this light up? Uh, no. Yes! Well, that is bloody lovely. Look, um, town covered, oil well covered, and a whole heap of tracks in the middle here. Which, by the way, um, guess what? You don't need, so we can just, just kill a lot of them. Uh, okay, that... Uh, Makes sort of sense, right? So we've got platforms on this side, platforms on this side, and a big gap in the middle that I'm guessing is going to become some sort of freight yard? How did you guess that? Alright, um, we're on pause, that road is in the way, so 
don't want you. Go away. Right. <laughs> track. Okay, let's curve our track around. Keep it at 358, I gather. Yeah, shift. A shift comma to just to drop it a frez. Not percent. Nice. Now, bring it out straight a little way. Straight and level. Yep, okay. And then whiz it around as almost as tight as you make it 50 make it 50 I don't want to make it 50 it'll be fine it'll be fine okay was that level uh, I didn't look no it's not level we'll shift dot to bring it up to there yep and then plonk it in there All right and beautiful now what we've got to do is connect this with Peyton wherever that is uh, Peyton is over here right so there are two uh, several ways of doing this um, let's have a look at the crow's fly way which is take a straight line from here yes all the way down to where we had this branch off here and hope well, we already know it's the grade is ridiculous. It's not going to work anyway. Yes, 7.7% is um, not good. And besides, is an extremely unrealistic trestle bridge all the way through there. <laughs> okay. Well, that ain't going to work. No. No. So I actually am going to be try try to be clever. Well, you'll always try to be clever. I know. I'm going to build um, a station here. So we'll have, as well as our conmat going up here, we'll have our oil and coal uh, on this line. That means this line's going to be busy. Yes, it's going to need to be double tracked. Oh, I don't know. All right. So you're flattening out the area around the station? Yep. Around the station. You mean coal mine, Stephen. Look, you knew what I meant. Oops, that's not flat, that's gone up. All right, so that's all at how much? 280 metres. Um, well, that just went up, didn't it? No, 280, that's fine. Just keep it at 280. Okay, 280 all the way around there. And you're coming around there, why? Wait and see, don't be impatient. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright. What I want to do, yeah, is put a station here for the coal mine. But not the normal station that you might be thinking of. I'm going to, of course, use my favourite mod, the Spitzkeller. And no catenary. I'm going to make it 200 metres long. Longer. 240. Oh, okay. And because it's a coal mine, multiple tracks. Right. And because I can. Right, we need to turn that on so that it connects to the mine, right, and then bend it, uh, bend it the other way, um, you know what you're doing here, I hope so, so we've got 200 metre, no, wait on, where was it, 240 metre long platform, as long as we have fingers, which we do, Clickety click. Okay. And I need a head shunt. Oh. For the outgoing track. So I'm going to bung it here. Um, about there. 
yeah but because this is a clever mod now always was because it's cleverer um, I'm going to see adjust oh Oh, I'm with you. So it doesn't have to be curvy all the way. No, it doesn't. It can go straight out there. And, and this one, by the way, doesn't have to connect to the mine, so it can just sit here. Right. Uh, about there. Looks good to me. Now. What are you doing here? Well, hopefully I can connect some tracks to here. <sighs> that was tight. I know, but I got it, didn't I? And where's this one going to go? It's going to go this way somewhere. And I really want to try and keep it level-ish. Okay, level-ish. And down here, come on, join up, please. Doesn't want to. In you go, in, in you go, come on, in, in. Right. Mm hmm. Middle track around to. Ah, look. Too much slope construction is possible. Don't give me that. There. Thanks. Okay. And this one has to come off from here to go to that track. So we can come in from Peyton here. Any one of three. Right. And then reverse up the head shunt. Right. Which could be straight. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, so you've got to connect these two tracks to here now. All right, okay. You go, go into there. Yep. And you have to come from there over to... Oh, you did it. Just. Just is fine. All right, this is looking interesting, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So there's our coal mine. This is Framlingham coal mine. So this is Framlingham coal. And this is Framlingham coal headshunt. So now I've got the ability to bring coal trains in, load them up, reverse them up there and out there so that we don't have any flip flopping. And we've got three platforms that we can do that with. Right. So that's got to be connected to that. Yep. And that's got to be connected down to... Where is it? Over here. Yep. Okay. So at the end, we've got a, a loop. Uh-huh. At this end, we need a loop. Right, uh, one loop coming up. Uh, we need firstly to level because as you can see this it's not so let's level this off right um, you know I'm thinking we need to shift this that way okay shifting by yeah removing a platform there and adding a couple, one, two, three, four, five, that's, ooh, hang on, what was that one up here? I forgot, what was it? Um, configure, 240, that's six. Okay. Six. Six. Yep, cool. This is starting to get a little complicated, but stay with me. Um, sure, just kill that. Indeed. <laughs> Configure. Uh, tracks. Yep, 
Uh, more tracks? Okay, well, think about this one. You're going to bring stuff one, two, three, four, and possibly them five things down this line. So it definitely needs to be double. Oh, sorry. And another one, six down this line. So it definitely needs to be double tracked. And they all have to come in here. Yes. And unload. Because then, for example, the oil will go from here to there. Because otherwise you're going to be paid a straight line from there to there, which is nothing. Whereas there to there to there, yes. And from there to there, yes. It's probably double the distance. Or more. So you need in platforms and out platforms. Okay. So I'm going to put the in platforms on this side. Whoops. Oh, come on, Stephen. Yeah, I know. Hopeless. You get... Go away, go away, go away. Configure. Okay. And track. One, two... That's four in platform. Surely that's enough. You think? Okay, it'll be enough. We got enough room to get around and out. I uh, hope so. Keep our fingers crossed. Uh, configure again, please, because I need a cargo building. Put it on this end so it's nice and close to this. With a road there and a road there. Still connects. Good. Okay. So now we've got to get from here to there. Well, um, what's the angle if you go straight? Let's go from here up to here. Um, yeah, that, that, that isn't going to work. Well, maybe. Hang on. Get it around there. Just whiz it around and join it up and see what A it looks like and B what the angle is. Well it's not going to be enough. 6.8. Far too much. Right. Well you're not doing that then. No. No. I've got to come from here and go up to about here and then up to there and then curve it around into here. <laughs> And I haven't even done the um, curly bit around that mound yet. Well, right, okay. So, let's go around. Uh, okay. And... What was the height? You don't want it going down, mate. You've got to be going at least level. Ah, bloody road. Uh, kill the bloody road then uh, back it off a of fraz uh -huh. and then then come up still going down don't want you going down how's that road uh, needs to be put back in don't think it's going to play though. No. Uh huh. You're not playing. Well, I'll make it play this way. Go there and then go there and hopefully. Yeah, not. Easily fixed. you down to that'll do hold it at that height actually level it it's going up 
Can I bring it across? Uh huh. And curve, please. Come on, Kirby. Are you gonna go in with it? No, you're not. Okay. Watch the height. I'm s I, this this um, track and street builder info mod is so useful getting heights and gradients and distances and everything else right okay we're heading up here uh, no we're not you're headed over here that's fine so up here what height are we okay uh, that's 240 I don't want 240 I have done this a couple of times before yep in order to try and work out where the hell to put things and I don't want 240 up here I want believe it or not uh, that no that 238 2 meters does that make that much of a difference does it uh, it sure does okay 238 level it off and put in just a short section of track. Uh huh. Right. Now, the, how I found that was I put in multiple 240, 239, 238, 237 short sections of track like that, and then went kaboom down to there, and uh, 3.7 is still a lot fine if it's not 238 then you know what we'll go lower we'll go one meter lower one meter lower 237 yep and put it in um, 237 yep Okay, now whiz it around. Uh, where'd it go? Over there. 3.5%. And that's... It's a bit steep. A bit steep. Look at it carving through the hill here. Okay. Um, well... You don't want it carving through the hill. Maybe you can come up here a little ways. Just get the angle. Whoops. 3.3. Okay. And then whiz it around. Keep your fingers crossed. 3.7. Yeah, still steep, but look. Okay, maybe this one could be a bit uh, yeah obviously there's a lot of trial and error here with all of this 3.5 I'm happy with that and bugger still calves that'll do I, I'll, I'll wear that all right <laughs> glad you'll wear it okay where are we going here well we'll just keep going in a straight line for now at 3.5 come on down 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 3.1 3.2 3 3 3.3 what's with this tunnel surely you don't want a tunnel uh, not out in the middle of flatland uh, take it up to 3.3 3 and then do the cutting. It looks horrible. Yep, I know. But we've got to get from here around to here now. Okay. Now, all of this is part of the return loopy thing for the coal mine. So, what we need is our two-track main line which will be there okay and it needs to curve around 
Well, that's too long, isn't it? Yep. Uh, that's still too long. I think so. Again, trial and error. Wang it around and see what happens. Um, what's the gradient? Five, five. Hang on. How do you do? No, that's wrong, Stephen. You must have done something wrong there. Uh, maybe. Chances are good. <laughs> 5.2? That's ridiculous. Hmm. Okay, take it back another notch. Yep. Wizard round. 5.2. Um. I don't know. I had it working before. What happened? Um. Angles, I think. Angles. Yeah, maybe. Let's just play with this one, this angle, slightly. No, don't let it hit. Just put it... No, don't let it do that. Just... No! Right, okay. All right. Try it again. Where are we? Right there. 5%. Look, I don't like it, but guess what? It'll have to do for the moment. We can do something else later. And now we have access to the coal mine. Okay. The road doesn't. Ah, the road. The road, the road, the road. Where can the road go? The road can fit through there, can it? No. Can the is the road allowed to go over Spitz Carers? Ah. No. The road is a problem. Mm hmm Right. Now it's not. Okay, bring the road through. Road, that one. Yep, okay. Road through like that. And then up to here. Yep. And then bend it around. Up to here. And that's level, good, and then chop that one back and join that one with, yep, not that way, and join that one with there, yep. Uh, okay. Smooth, smooth this out a little bit now. So it doesn't look too bad. Now, take our main line and let's start to elevate it. Road again is a problem. Bugger off road. Um, yeah, yep, 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 it is, isn't it? Uh, never mind. Let's get him up to... Three, whoop, three percent. Road's out. Kill the road. Goodbye, road. <laughs> uh, try again. Outside track. Outside track. Um, straight out and then up. Up to 3.2 percent. Hang on a second. Yep. Um, let's lower this bit here and see if I get a bridge at aha 
3.9's a bit high, but we'll try 3. Point. Come on, up, up. 4.9 is too high. 4.3.2.72. That'll do. Bring the second one in. So anything higher now than 2.7 is fine. We're, we're starting to go up. We're going to go up and around this coal mine. And not at that rate though. Down please. And up. Shift up. Uh, 3.2. Okay, now coming out, we'll come out of the tunnel. I want to come around here and use the elevation that's here and go up. Okay, so that's going down. We'll make it go up. Thirty seven. Ah, you've got another little bridge there now. Keep it on 30. Bring the second track around. Aha, uh -huh. I see why you wanted to straighten out that spitz carrot, because it can just zzz up in that space there. And maybe go that way. Maybe. But then again, maybe not. Alright, helix time. Let's go on that side. Okay, uh, 313 is too high. 2.9% up 3.1%. Uh, to there, yep. Bring it around, yeah. And now in, do the inside track. Um, where's this going? Well, it's got to go around. Now we're going to be in the helix proper. We're going to come around here. Um, somehow, let's bump it to 2.8. 3.1, okay. Keep coming around at um, let's go up, up to upsy daisy 320 meters. Yeah, okay. And now come around ag again. To here. Oh, uh, you want to coming around the outside of that. Hopefully, 321. We've got to go up. Shift down. And round. No, what? That's just ridiculous. It is, isn't it? Okay, well, maybe that's too high. Do a flat section there. Do a flat section there. Flat section that's um, up. Up, 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 up to there. Okay, and now come across to. Yep, that's it. So, no, it's too high, but we can. 
before before you go too far, yep. Um, can you put that outside track in? That's probably a good idea, isn't it? Yeah, otherwise we could end up putting the second part of the loop in the wrong place. Okay, double track helix to there so far. Good. Now, inside, yep. Oop, went too far. Shift, comma, 30%. Did we lose it again? It didn't. There. Um, look, that'll do. Bring that around. Keep going. Um, no. No, 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 no. What's going on here? Um, maybe. Ah, okay. Well, in that case, you, is that the outside track? No. Outside track. Is too high. Down, down, to down. And shift down. Outside track, where'd it go? <laughs> there. Um, no. Well, that's because I've got to come on the inside of. Sorry, well, that was terrible for you. And this is terrible right now, so that isn't going to work. Need to bring this more over. And up to that's too much. Three thirty two meters to there, yep. And now that's better. Um, height please. Yeah, it's it's doing the height thing. Yeah, the height thing's going down. Ugh. Up. No, stop snapping. Up. No, look at this. This is ridiculous. 338. You can bring it up just a tad. 339. 340. 341. 342 is a bit much. 341 to there. So, how's this happening? Uh, um, all right, I think. Double track in. It's taken a while. Yeah, I know. It's um, it's time consuming getting all of these levels and everything right, isn't it? Um, I think there's a problem there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now. Um, I'm going to whiz this all the way through to here. And we get 3.1%. Holy guacamole. I know. Double track. Um, that road is... Yep. Yep, it sure is. Uh, tickety tick. Now, this is the up and that's the back. So, you need to go there. Right, eh? That road's fixable. 
and we'll do that later. I'm not going to do it now because, whoa, God help us, that, oh, you're not even done yet. No, I'm not. And and so that we can get a line in today, um, what I'm going to do is just simply put a quick turnaround here. Very quick, very temporary. Uh, this will go. It won't stay. Won't stay. Good. I'm pleased to hear that it won't stay. Now, again, up and back. Double track. Oh, double track. Double track. Pretend. So it will come in that way and out that way. Good. All right. Signals. One-way signals to make this work. Put one there. Yep. And one there. Um, oh, hang on. You haven't got the... Sorry. We'll come back to this next time. I just need to get the line in place. Okay, one-way signal there. It's going to go up and around and up and up and one way signal before the platform and then there before the road. Yeah, look that you can't leave it like that. Fine. Can I put the root in yet? You sure can. Right, I had a devil of a job trying to work this root out. For some reason it just didn't want to play. So, let's follow this through one at a time. Click on Stations to Add. Right, I'm going to start here on Platform 1. Good. After that, I come out through the one-way signal there. There's your problem, you're going the wrong direction. Whips. Um, yeah, this is what happens when you use um, a left-hand drive and a right-hand drive. <clears throat> right. One way that way. And one way that way. Huh. Manage line. Start at Framlingham. Yes. Add station to there. Oh, look. It might work this time. In fact, I think if I come straight down here... Oh, look, it does. And it goes back. Does it go back on the other side of the two-way? It does. Oh, Stephen, you're brilliant. Shut up. Well... You were doing it on the, the left-hand drive and not the right-hand drive. Hmm, I know. All right. Um, we need um, a temporary... a temporary uh, thing here. One temporary thing it is. Let's... webs it around in that direction and join it up. One temporary depot. Okay. Now, this is... Let me think. Let me think. This is step one. Yes, yeah, step one of getting the conmat up here. There is another step. So let's buy a train. Just a... Um, look, doesn't matter. We'll need the Baldwin eventually, but for now one flat car, buy that, put it on line one. Can you call line one something other than line one, please? Uh, sure. Fram freight, how's that do you? Okay, so fram freight, so that was step one. Yes, that'll get it from here up to there. Step two is to adjust this one. Uh-huh. 
to actually stop here and drop some. That would be useful. So manage line. After Graves End Forest the first time, we come in here and we go to Peyton Freight Yard and we load nothing, but we unload whatever. Is that all? Um, we shall find out by looking at what you haven't. You've been on. That's why you. Uh, Okay, we'll find out when that shows Framlingham. Yep. And had you been on pause, this Connet plant would have recovered. Um, sorry. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Framlingham, come on. Kick in. Kick in. You've got stuff there. Kick in. It's not kicking in. It should be. <sighs> Why isn't it? You've got that route all the way down to here. Yes. Did you get... Whoa! Gravesend Forest. What? What? Hang on. No, 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 no. You are not taking planks that way. We've already got the road one. Oh, shh. Okay, Gravesend, Peyton Freight Yard. Load nothing, look. Twin Bridges Hood, Gravesend Forest, Peyton Freight Yard, that one. You're not loading anything, and you are going to unload Conmat. Okay. Then at Gateshead, you come back to Peyton Freight Yard, and you are unloading nothing, and you are loading... I don't know what's going on here. But you should not be showing that for Gateshead. It should all be over here. All right, that'll sort itself out. Um, storage is an issue. Yeah, probably don't want to lose any, but for now we'll just... Now, all of this is temporary. Um, we have to a, a lot of work to do here and up the top. Yes, Framlingham is showing. Thank God for that and that means, yes, we can have a nice little train ride oh, down the valley and uh, see what work we've got to do, like fixing up um, that horrible road and that horrible road. Uh, but we're off. We're off and we're running. And if I shut off the sound on my computer, That'll probably sound a little bit better now instead of hearing <laughs> echoing. <sighs> that was complicated. Want to go faster? Okay. Seeing we're well over an hour so far. And um, the problem with this is it's going to take forever to get down the bottom. I'll, ha I'll have a look at that in just a second, but slow it down so we can go over here. Nice and steady. What's that look like from the side? Um, yeah, not too bad. Sure, okay. It's a complicated doohickey, isn't it? Um, if you mean, is it complicated because it's um, going round and around and around and so on? Yes. Hmm. 
Mr. Baldwin, you look like you've got an awful lot of dust on top of you. Well, then we go back to slow again. Well, that doesn't look too bad. It's not a freakishly high bridge. Okay, now where are we going? Well, around here. Under this bridge here. Which is also not freakishly high. Uh, and around skirt the coal mine. Did you really need a tunnel here, or could you have... Mm, yeah, I probably could have done... No, no, I didn't have room. Okay. All right, faster. Let's go. Zzzz. Back to slow. And here. That's a pretty scene. Around the coal mine, with the Y and everything in place. Lovely. Okay, double up. Need to smooth out this. That doesn't look the best, does it? No. Now remember, the whole point of getting this in place roughly is to trigger that CONMAT production because it's going to take forever for the CONMAT to get up to Patent Freight Centre. It's going to take even longer while autosave sits there and does that and the noises, but this train and any train that connects Framlingham to here, Peyton, have a look at, here we go, overview, 21 minutes, that's almost two years, that's a bloody long time. The frequency is just ridiculous. You will need to... Well, it's ridiculous because of this. You can't do the straight line. You've got to do the bendy, roundy, helixy thing to, to get up there with reasonable gradients and landscapes that have dirty great big canyons carved out of them. That, my friends, is what the smoothing tool is for, see? We'll come back to that. <laughs> Righto, you're coming in. You have... Good. I thought I'd lost all of that. Okay, you're not going to... Well, hang on, stop. Ram freight. Oh, look, just let it run. Four. Why has it got a... Is that all its frequency is? Wow. Rambling and freight. Is there anything? No, there's nothing here. <sighs> but that's the start. That's the start. It has kicked off demand. If you like this episode, like the thing, you know, like it, press that button, subscribe if you haven't, and ting the bell to get YouTube to let you know when I do another one. And until next time, I'm Stephen Spry, and it's Huru from me. Bye now.